Atlanteans attack in Champions Issue 4. As the Champions shuttle is shot down, the team try desperately to cushion their descent, with all team members on deck and the Cyclops piloting the ship down. Cyclops manages to take control of it and he lands it without killing anyone, leading to the other members telling him he should lead the team. Trapped out in the Atlantic Ocean on a broken shuttle, Cyclops and Miss Marvel get everyone organized, sending Hulk out to pull the ship towards land that Viv finds. While fixing the ship, Miss Marvel confronts Cyclops about the elephant in the room. She is an inhuman and he is a mutant, both people who are at war with each other at the moment. He doesn't seem to mind though and he says it doesn't matter at all. It's not long before some Atlanteans arrive, capturing the team. The Atlanteans believe that they are American spies, thanks to their ship being an outfitted American spy plane. Discovering that they are near the surface, the team escapes their prisons, trying to purge the ship of all the water so they can escape it. Eventually finding the controls, they purge all the water and escape the damaged ship. This issue was definitely different compared to the last three issues which dealt with very topical issues. This issue was more of your usual team adventure storyline and there's nothing wrong with that, I actually really enjoyed it. A Cyclops getting to be leader as well uh, was really great, especially for more than a page. It's done a lot more than what the X-Men comics have done with him recently or well, before he died. Uh, and it was great seeing him and Miss Marvel, they, they kind of acted as dual leaders, they kind of led both of the team and they, they worked really well together they had the same sort of ideas of what to do with the ship and everything so that was really cool seeing that sort of friendship and leadership blossom also at the end of this book it seems to imply that Gwenpool is joining the team now I don't know a lot about Gwenpool besides she's from an earth that's technically ours so she's kind of like a quote-unquote real life person um but I'm interested to see what she is going to bring to the team and like how she interacts with the team and you know their sort of stance on violence and stuff like that so it'd be really interesting to see what she has for the team and what she offers to the team i'm going to give this issue an 8 out of 10. thanks for watching remember to leave a comment in the comment section below or follow the links on screen now to other reviews or topic videos if you haven't already remember to subscribe for more weekly reviews and videos